All right, this is the uh, GE Ultra Pro Stealth HD uh, antenna. Um, this is a very good antenna if you're looking to, as they say, cut the cord and get rid of cable. So there's a couple different ways you can use this. Um, you, you can actually just travel with it. So um, this shows how people are out tailgating, um, just having a good old time there, uh, cooking some food. Uh, it works really well, believe it or not, just outside. Um, I've had one of these on a like a back porch, uh, and I got great reception. You can mount it outdoors. I don't recommend you do this. You can have it inside a room. I don't recommend you do this. Or you can mount it in the attic. I have one of these mounted in an attic of one of um, a second story house, and I tied it in line with. Uh, I split it into the. Uh, cable wires in internally in the house and I have three TVs connected to it and it works awesome it is extremely clear which is why um, I bought another one I'm gonna put it in a different location but this is where the HD part comes in um, it can uh, have crystal clear uh, TV clarity um, it does work with 4K uh, uh, Ultra HD TVs, either or the newer TVs. Um, you can get all these networks on here and more is, is exactly the case. Um, it claims it can capture signals up to 60 miles away. Um, and I can tell you, my personal experience, these three networks, they, it works extremely well. So any live sports, news, things like that, the, the, the morning shows you can get all those for free now what it doesn't pick up in my area is espn so if you're big into sports that one doesn't even come close to at least to my area so leave a comment down below if you can can get um espn on the on a, a, a good uh antenna or this one so it comes already with the coaxial cable it comes with the mount mounting screws so this is what it mounts on. Um, it's super simple to, to use this. Um, I recommend, no matter where you put it, put one screw in this mount. And the reason for that is, is because it won't get knocked over. Just mount it. Just You don't have to use both screws or get too fancy, but I really recommend you mount the base. Now with this one, you have this... this um, hinge here it swivels a little bit so I can do this and I again why it's important to mount it because I have noticed in certain parts so I, this will be the third one that, that I have it might work better this way it might work better that way um, I definitely would would work this um, direction as well before you actually mount it if you just put a screw in the front here and loosen it you know obviously you can have that wiggle room so just play around with it a little bit if you can put it in the attic i would try one side or the other see if there's a difference there very much can be so when you pull it out of the box this sticker is on the antenna you have to do a channel scan on the tv every tv manufacturer is different but it's the same process if you don't do that it won't pick up any channels so what it does is it triggers the tv to say i now have an antenna that is going to capture a signal, go find the signals you can capture, and then that will determine, again, what channels you have available um, uh, once that channel scan is done. So when you take this off, really the, the heart, oh, I mean, it's, again, not rocket science, but you will notice that there is a square hole. That square hole goes into that, that section of the mount. This does come off, but again, I've never had a reason to do it. So it just essentially slides right in there. There is a section here um, as well below it, not a section, but part of it is where the coaxial cable goes. So you're gonna screw the cable on right there. Um, both of the ends are, oops, sorry about that, are identical. And then the other end goes into the back of your TV. So process, I'm not gonna show you the process because it's not hard. Put this in your TV first, then screw it in here, mount this where you want it, again, with your length. I think this is three feet. And you can just, again, slide that on, do your adjustments, 
do your channel scan, and you're good to go. I will put a link in the description below if you want to purchase one of these. Go ahead and use it, and good luck. This is a phenomenal antenna for the money.